Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and this is the first episode of, I don't even know, what are we gonna call this? I don't know. Making the fat first for recipes. women recipes from the five ingredients. I don't know, I'll come up with something funny. We'll call sure. it something good. Anyway, the today's- mom is funny. The mom, that's from the other channel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind, edit that out. <laughs> Okay, anyway, okay, so today we are making the first recipe that we wanted to try. We kind of like looked through them all, decided we wanted to try a main dish for our first one, and we decided to go with a pork chop because we don't ever eat them. Because you know why? I hate them. So we're gonna see if First for Women can convince me that a pork chop is something worth eating. It has a yummy almond flour, Parmesan crust, and I'm only thinking I'm gonna like it because of that. We don't cook with almond flour like ever. We had to go to the store to buy it, but we're hoping it turns didn't out okay. Know what store sold it. Yeah, I didn't even know what store yeah. where you would buy yeah. it, like, except online. So, anyway, we're just gonna get started. We're gonna show you the ingredients that we need, and then we're gonna cook. I hope it turns out okay. All right, so here we have all the ingredients we need for this recipe. This is the one we are going to do Parmesan sage, crusted pork chops, claims to be. One carb, I think, one gram of carbs per pork chop, okay? So that's what we're gonna make. Wish us luck, I hope it works out. Okay, so Chef Dave is working on dinner for the kids. I, stop laughing, thank you. I am going to mix up the breading for this, for the pork chops. I know what you're thinking, just stop laughing. All right, it says preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I don't know how to do that. Okay, there we go, 400. Bake, I think we're good. Are you gonna say stop laughing this entire video? Well, I'm gonna get <laughs> All right, it stop laughing. Stop laughing. You can. Now, I don't know how we've determined the macros of this when we put it in the chronometer. That's the hard part, I don't know. Yeah, how would you track the breading? I don't know. We're just gonna have to measure, measure all the pork chops and then put it all until there's none left and then divide it by, I don't know. This is hard. Well, we can only do about two at a time on this cast iron. All right, let me just get this made. One third cup grated parmesan. <laughs> parmesan! I say we just divide it by how many pork chops. So we put it all in chronometer, we put all the pork chops that we can get out of it in there, and then we just divide it by however many pork chops we end up making. Works for me. I think that's probably okay. the easiest way. And then one teaspoon sage. Sage. I, would, I want to put salt in this. How come there's no salt? Season the pork chops with salt and pepper and then, but I think you should add it to the it just says, season both sets of pork chops with salt and pepper, and then dip them into the egg. Maybe you'd think it would fall off when you hit the egg. Now, yeah. how much salt do you think we should put in? I don't know how much. I'm probably gonna wreck it, right? I'm gonna do a teaspoon, or should I do two? Teaspoon of teaspoon. What, Dave? Do you do one or two? Teaspoons of salt. I'd go two. Okay, so if it tastes too salty, you heard it. Dave's the one who told me how much to put in. I like it salty. Oh, well, so do I. Me too. But I'm not gonna eat it. That's why everybody says to taste. Right. Salt and pepper to taste. Ooh. I'm not really a pepper fan. <coughs> so I might not put as much pepper as you would probably so skip it for just do a little bit. Ruby, why are you messing with that? Maybe I should count the egg and the cheese first. Uh, that's tricky. Guys, this is hard. Do you see why we don't do recipes? There's a reason. 
there's a reason. Okay, I'm just gonna go with eight and everything else will be extra. Hopefully it won't be too much extra. We put the salt and pepper in this, so I'm not gonna salt and pepper it, but it does say two. And then it says, what does it say? Wait, have you turned that on yet? I should probably turn that on now. All right, so it says you coat it in the egg and then you coat it in the flour. So I've never done this before, but if I can do it, you can do it, right? golden brown on both sides. It's gonna have a nice like, what do you call that? Crust on it, sear on it. And then we just take the whole skillet, stick it in the oven for about 10 minutes until it's 145 degrees in the meat. Gotta have a meat thermometer so you make sure your meat's not overcooked because overcooked pork, boo. Undercooked pork. Undercooked pork. pork. Undercooked pork, eek. even one full egg. So I'm only putting one egg in the recipe in chronometer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start making a recipe in chronometer. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna try. We'll see what we can do. These are about ready to go in the oven. We're gonna start some green beans, some fresh green beans. We're just gonna cook it, what, in a little bit of olive oil or bacon fat? I don't know which. We're not doing anything special. There is a beans recipe in here, which we will be trying later, but we're not doing that today because we want to do one recipe at a time. In chronometer, I've, I've shown this before a long time ago when we made another cooking video. I think it was the cheeseburger soup, but I'm going to go ahead and show this again. So in chronometer, when you want to, oh, there you go, in the oven. Woohoo, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand here. Chef Dave's gonna put together the beans, so he's gonna be around here doing stuff, but I'm gonna try and keep this where you can see it, hoping you can see it. So in chronometer, you can see what I've tracked for the day, and if you wanna see your macros, you click targets, and it shows where I'm at for the day. That is my breakfast, well, besides the pork chop, that is my breakfast I eat every single day, which is why I have it as a recipe, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now, is how to build a recipe in chronometer. So, you go into foods, this little icon right here, and you scroll down to right here where it says create new recipe, click that, okay? Then sometimes you'll this will be down low and you won't see the plus, but the plus is how you add each ingredient into the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the plus, and then I'm gonna start with the almond flour. Now, this is, Bob's Red Meal Super Fine Almond Flour, because that's what the rec it super fine is what it recommended. I am gonna use the barcode because I bet this is in here. Bingo. And I used a third of a cup. So I'm gonna go in here. Uh, of course it's only in ounces, grams. Great. I have to use my brain. Should we just weigh it out and find out? Be the easiest. Alright, let's find out. Guys, this is bad, I know. Okay, so we're gonna tear out the cup, switch the unit to grams, then we'll fill up the cup like we did for the recipe. Oh, 
I think I put a little less than that actually. There we go. So that's saying 43 grams. Probably 44, maybe 40, you never know. I'm gonna go ahead and put exactly what that said just because. So I'm gonna switch it to grams on here. Oh, man, it died. Switch it to grams. Then I'm gonna put 43, add serving. Okay, we used egg, but we didn't, I don't think we used two whole eggs. I'm actually just gonna put one egg just cause that's what I think is in this literal recipe that we just made. So I'm gonna put in raw egg, one large add serving okay so that's that too i don't think there's anything in sage but you may as well put it in so add and we'll do barcode see if it's in there sometimes they're in there sometimes they aren't there we go nope it's not in there so now i'm gonna search uh oh oh yeah now i'm gonna search rubbed sage and see if I can find it. Okay, that's not worked. How about just sage? And we'll look for dry. Sage dried, is this ground? Or... Yeah. Okay, sage ground. And we're gonna do one teaspoon, at least that's easy. You can, have, you can do the whole grams thing too if you had already measured it in grams, but I didn't, because I didn't. So I'm gonna add that serving. And then salt and pepper, I'm not gonna bother adding. And then we'll do the Parmesan cheese. This one is not gonna be in there because it's a local brand, but it's easy enough to find grated Parmesan cheese. And then we did, so this luckily is got the point, I can put 0.33 of a cup, add serving. That's third, right? <laughs> I'll die if that's not a third. Okay into the recipe okay so that's the whole recipe for the rub basically the coating so then i'm going to go ahead and click the check mark save the recipe hope that works now it should be in there so i'm going to add a new food and then i'll search for first for women, parm pork chop. And I'm not doing the full recipe. I'm doing 0.25 of the recipe. That should be pretty dang close. And so that puts me only a little over on protein. 125 protein, 10 carbs, and 76 fat without my green beans, which is pretty decent for the day. So I'm gonna turn this off and we'll bring you back when the pork chops are ready. And we'll show you how we're gonna test the, the meat and all that and then we'll do a taste test. All right, it's been the recommended 10 minutes so we're pulling it out and then check the temperature on the meat. Overcooked. Darn. Hope that doesn't taste gross. Because I really don't love pork as it is. I guess that's probably that time is probably for a, a little thicker cut. Thicker cut of meat. Darn it. Oh well, we overcooked ours. Keep that in mind, guys. If you're making a smaller cut, like an eight or a six ounce, you may want to go for less time in the oven. We have our bacon grease in the pan. We did it probably a tablespoon, looks like. Of bacon grease and we're throwing in two cups of green beans and that we're just literally gonna cook them up in the grease it's like really man <laughs> he's trying to be fancy man he trying to be fancy <laughs> look this is my hand my hand moving the beans i'm moving them i do know how to make things okay so we just coat them and then just cook them in the um that's dave putting on some kosher salts um, some You can make this also like with bits of bacon. It's pretty good, especially it seems really fancy. Like if you're taking something to a party and you want to take a veggie, you know you can have. Putting a little um, bacon grease with bacon um, in some of these green beans is really nice dish you can take. Um, I don't claim all of the tablespoon of um, bacon grease because it doesn't really like all attach, but I do try and put in some in the chronometer just to get 
my fat macro where it is when I'm being when I'm being picky about fat loss I want to make sure I have my fat macro as close as possible which this will probably put me a tad bit over but I don't know maybe not I think it's going to be really close and this is how we made dinner for the kids we I mean Dave I didn't make it of course it's ham fried rice in the instant pot so you see we made two meals at the same time it's pretty much what Dave does every day he just use some fresh ham rice soy sauce and a bag of veggies right and some salt and pepper that's pretty much it Alrighty, and here's our first official recipe from the first for women magazine five easy ingredients we did the parmesan crusted pork chops i think that's what it's called i can't even remember okay we're ready for a taste test here see what i think a little bit maybe a little bit too much salt no. I think other people would probably think it's too much salt, but I think it's good for us. Yeah. It's I can eat that. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll make it again. Thanks for hanging out with us for our first recipe for the First for Women magazine article. This ought to be fun. We're planning to do one of these probably bi-weekly, maybe every couple weeks, and do a new recipe for you guys from the magazine, and hopefully that'll be fun for you. What do you think? Cool. I'll give it a go. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll talk to you again soon.